สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hak Thai Kitchen. So the other day I was invited to a potluck and I wanted to bring something that's fresh and summery, but it still had to be Thai because. Whenever people invite me to potlucks, they expect me to bring Thai food. So I ended up creating this recipe. That's a tomato and coconut dip. That's got all the authentic flavors of Thai salad, but it's got this sort of pico de gallo salsa feel, and it was a hit. So I really wanted to share it with you. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is get your tomatoes diced. And set it over a strainer like this. And the reason why I do that is because I want to get rid of all this excess liquid. The first time I did it, that I didn't do this, it was a little bit too liquidy. So just do this first, and then let it sit and get all your other stuff ready. And when you're ready to mix, it'll be good to go. I've got some coconut milk here. I want the coconut flavor, but I don't want it to be, you know, soup at the end of the day. So I'm just going to reduce it down so it's super thick. And concentrate it. Okay. So once you've got it thick like that, you're just gonna set it aside and let it cool while we prep all the other stuff. While the coconut is cooling, let's build this dip. It's super fast. So the tomatoes, see how much liquid has been collected? Don't throw that away yet, because at the end, if you want a little more juice, you can always add it back in, because that's lots of flavor right there. Some lemongrass. I love lemongrass in salads and dips. Make sure there's no big chunks, because big chunks of lemongrass isn't pleasant. And that goes. Mm. Onion. You can use shallots, but I'm gonna go with red onions. Just small dice. Now toasted coconut. Mm, just shred it, dry coconut. Toast it in a dry saute pan until it's nice and golden brown. It's gonna add a lot of wonderful nuttiness to this dip. Peanuts. Ground peanuts. So I roasted the peanuts and I just ground this in a mortar and pestle. Don't do peanut butter, okay? You don't want that sticky sort of. Texture. You still want some grittiness, but you don't want big, big chunks because this is a dip, so everything sort of has to blend seamlessly. You can just quickly blitz it in a food processor. Almost done, but it is time to make that dressing. So here's that reduced coconut that's cool now. What I'm going to add to this is some Thai chili paste. Now Thai chili paste, um, you can buy them at the store. Lots of Asian grocery stores have them. Comes in a jar. Sometimes it doesn't look like this, but just check that the label says Thai chili paste. And one of these days, I'm going to show you how you can make this from scratch, so that if you can't find it, you, there's still a way to use it because it's so good. And it's a good idea to mix the chili paste in with the coconut. Milk first before you add all the other stuff because if you add too much liquid, it's really hard to get it to dissolve. It just kind of floats around. I'm gonna go in with fish sauce and lime juice. Lots of lime juice because sour is the main flavor for this dip. And now I'm gonna grate some garlic into it with a microplane zester. You can also just finely mince it as well. And the garlic's gonna add that nice pungent kick. All right, stir that up. Time to combine. This looks great and smells great. Oh my god! At this point, it's quite thick, but as the tomato sits, it will so release more juice. So don't add the tomato juice back in this just yet. If you feel like it needs more liquid, give it a little bit of time. Now, ooh, I need to add a little bit of sugar to it. Just to cut all that salt and acid. Now, what does this look like? It needs. That's right, cilantro. It's not a Thai salad or a Thai dip without cilantro. So lots and lots. And if you want to make this dip in advance, don't put the cilantro in quite yet, okay? Because you don't want it to wilt. Now, of course, there's nothing spicy in it yet because the Thai chili paste isn't super spicy. So I'm gonna mince some Thai chilies and add these in as well. See how now there's some more liquid. This just smells like Thai food. You smell this and you're just like, yes, that's Thai food. Okay, so give this a taste because every tomato is different and every lime is different. So you always want to taste when you cook with fresh produce. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. But I'm gonna add more lime because I want more zing. Ooh, yes, I can feel the zing. Mmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's fresh. It can taste everything. The cilantro, the lemongrass, the coconut, the peanuts. It is a party in my mouth. Now, what to serve this dip with? So I just like this served with tortilla chips. I think it's a great sort of accompaniment, but it's, you know, East meets West. All right, here we go. Oh, if you want to stick with the Asian theme though, you can definitely do rice crackers. Mm. Mm. Spicy, it's creamy, but at the same time, it's super fresh with all that lime and the fresh tomatoes. Oh my God. What a great alternative to bring to a party than the usual, you know, pico de gallo or salsa. This will definitely tie up your next party. <laughs> so, so the recipe is as always on hottaikitchen.com. If you make this, send me a photo, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. Mm -mm 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 -mm